right, on this video here, this is for the beginners. Um, kind of like helping, trying to help out um, Redneck Ways. I watched a couple of his videos. And it seems to me that you may be having a little trouble with the um, the coating uh, that are on these capacitors, these yellow capacitors. Uh, you know, when you're recapping a radio. And I always have to refer to this chart right here that you see in front of you. Uh, on the left-hand side of the chart, they use a code on the capacitors. It's not like the good old days where they put the microfarads listing right on the cap. Sometimes you can get them, but the caps that I get, and a lot of you guys get, not always from the same place I get them from. I get them from what used to be Sal's capacitor corner is now Tony's capacitor corner. A different phone number, different email, but the same uh, location from what I understand. And when you order ca capacitors from him, he gives you these little cards. And to me, they're cheat sheets. And it's very, very important. I have to refer to those all the time because... The numbering on these, uh, why they do it, I don't know. Uh, it would seem to me that it would be just as easy to put down the microfarads, like if it's a 0 .001 microfarad, they should list that on the capacitor instead of using the codes. However, um, what I'm going to do now is to get out a few capacitors and show you how to read them and they're not very hard to do. The only confusing part that might be is there is a, usually a letter after the number. Like it's like uh, on the top one there it's point zero zero one microfarad uh, and it's a 102. A lot of times, it may be a 102 with a K, a letter K after it. Sometimes it's a letter J. It's all the same. The numbers is what it means. So the easiest thing to do is to refer to these charts. And I have a couple of them hanging in my shop. And um, I always refer to them. And I have the numbers on my drawers over here. Now I'm going to get out some capacitors. We're going to start with a 0.01 right here. And we'll get it down and show it to you. Okay, I think that's in focus. You'll notice it's a 102J. As I said earlier, it could be a 102K. Uh, it doesn't mean anything, but this is a 0 .001 microfarad. Okay, I started pulling out the uh, 0 .01 drawer there, so uh, <laughs> that's not the case here. All right, so as you will see on the chart um, over here, a 102 or 102J or 102K is a 0 .001 microfarad. Right here. All right, now that we got the 0.01s uh, down, so let's try to find a 0.01, which is right here, the third one up from the bottom. 0.01 microfarad is a 103. Let's look at the capacitor. All right, here it is. 103J. A 103J, as you just saw in the chart, is a 0 0.01 microfarad. which I mark right on the outside of the drawer, okay? 
that's the way they seem to be marking the capacitors. Since I got back into this hobby um, a number of years back, years ago the capacitors were always marked. Even your orange drops were always marked with the capacity on them. I think they still are with the orange drops, but on these yellow ones and on these other types here, like the blue ones, I have to mark on them what they are because they got the numbers on them. It's a lot easier for me to do that. However, for me to mark all these yellow ones with the capacity of whatever it is, because I got several values in this particular drawer, uh, it's quite time consuming. But however, I will, I can't write neatly, um, write on the capacitor after I put it into the radio, but it usually smears off, you know, when I use a, a very fine tip sharpie, but I can't write small because of my eyesight, I have to write big, I write sloppy. So a lot of times I'll just set the capacitor in so that you can see the number facing up and then you can refer to the cheat chart, which is right there. Okay, now let's get a, uh, a point zero four seven out here. This is a very common value, or in the older radios, it used to be point oh five. okay? But we'll get the point oh four seven out, and we'll show you the numbering on these here. Okay, on these here, this comes from, these came from Sal's capacitor corner, which now is Tony's capacitor corner, so the, I don't think the uh, website is the same anymore. Anyways, it's a, if you notice, it's a .047 at 630 volts, and it's a 473J. Disregard the J because they use different letters at the end. Why, I don't know. But you'll see these type of capacitors here, and if you look really close, and I don't know if I can get you in because they're inside the plastic bag, uh, the coating is on here. Now, again, I'll do the other side where there is no numbers listed on them, uh, well, some of them are turned over and they're blank on the other side. I'll write 0 .047 on the capacitor. But they usually smear off just handling them. So, a lot of times I just don't bother doing that. Now, on these 047s, that's of this type. It's still going to be a 473J. And as you can see on the chart, Right here, 047473. All right, now I'll show you the yellow ones. This is this is my backup drawer here, and we'll get out one of these. 047, 630 volts. Four seven three J. Like I say, disregard the J. All right. Point four seven. In the old capacitors, it used to be a point five. In other words, a half microfarad. You notice I've marked these right here. These are larger capacitors physically. And I'm able to do that. These are 474s. 474s. .47 microfarads. We'll show you up on the chart over here. There it is right there. .47 microfarad 474. You notice that this chart don't use any of the letters after it. So disregard the letters. It's a number that's important. Now... The largest 
film cap I have is a one microfarad at 600 volts. And remember, if you ever charge these up, they will hold the charge for days. I know, I got nipped on one. One microfarad, 630 volts. And the chart that's in here, one microfarad, 630 volts, 105J. Upside down, of course, and every time, every time. 105J. Now, I won't remember that. To me, that has no bearing on one microfarad. So, you got to refer to this chart right here. So, um, you can always pause my video, because when I started out, I showed you that chart. You can pause my video, take a screenshot of it, and print it out on your printer, and hang it in your shop. There's your one microfarad 105 right here. And I think that's probably about it on the uh, film type capacitors. Um, your electrolytics are going to be marked in microfarads and voltage ratings. Um, on the older capacitors, such as these sprigs here got an awful lot of reflection I can't even see that hang on a minute red and black is very very hard for my eyes to see when I see price tags in stores that have red and black it's extremely hard it's a terrible c color contrast but I'm going to rotate it. I can't even see that. I can see 600 volts. I cannot read the capacity on it. I can read Sprague. But you'll see, or I hope you'll see it, that the capacity is written right on the capacitor. There's no code numbers. These are old ca caps, and they go back way before they did all this numbering crap. A little quiz for you. What's a two? 23. What is a 223? Get your chart out. Do I know what it is? No. It's in this mixed box here. Look at your chart. Then you'll know. Okay, I hope this video helps. I did want to throw this out. A little bit of maybe... Uh, little hints and stuff like that that may help out some of you newbies out there. Okay, so that concludes this video here. Just a little bit of video I thought I'd throw out here. There's not a lot going on in my shop these days. So I hope this was helpful and this is primarily for um, the newbies that are in this hobby. I've been in this hobby since the late 50s. And the new numbering system is very irritating. I'm just not used to it, and I have to refer to these charts. So um, I have those charts all over the place.